y'all are. This is your buddy George Jones over at our Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on hey, I got this old used gun. There seems to be an outbreak of this single shot shotgun on YouTube. This is the CDC uh, 12 gauge. This one's a 12 gauge. This is the CDC. And now the CDC is made in that's firearms import export Miami Florida and it's a 12 gauge 3 inch magnum full choke proof tested and it's got a serial number and a model number SB down here on the bottom I'm a holler because the minute I sit down here the wind started howling like a locomotive so I got a dirty bird target up down here at 15 yards, and we're going to try these uh, mini shells, uh, the Federal mini shell, which is 1145 feet per second at the muzzle, number 8 shot, 15 sixteenths of an ounce of shot. This is the heavier one. All right, let's give it a try. And the reason why we're shooting them is because when I got this gun, it's got this little skinny butt on it and no recoil pad and I'm getting old you know all right let's give her a try and see if she'll shoot um, I have an eight inch dirty bird target up down there at 15 yards let's see what it shoots like if it shoots at all I've never shot this gun Oof. hey hey um, this gun shoots pretty good. I'm not going to shoot the target again. I'm going to shoot something over here on the side a little bit farther away. That little skinny butt plate, even with a mini shell, this guy uh, has some has some recoil. The gun recoils, and then when you go to fire the second shot, you want to recoil. Let's go down here and take a look at it. Now, the wind's light down. 15 yards, 8 inch, dirty bird tarp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's all right right there. That's a good shooting gun. Yeah, I remember when these guns came out, they cost like $39. I think when Paul's discount, it's Paul's, Paul's surplus. Paul's discount in Somerset, or Paul's surplus when it was a surplus store. They sold these guns and I think they were, I think they were $39 when they were new. Uh, nowadays, any single shot shotgun that shoots and works is worth a hundred dollars. Okay, uh, and most time nowadays, these guys bring about a hundred and fifty dollars at retail. And you don't know the truth. This one's worth it. This one patterns really well. Uh, I've got a few things I don't like about it. One of the things of this gun is it has a rebounding hammer. It doesn't have a transfer bar, but it has a rebounding hammer. So, you know, when the hammer's fully forward and you let go of the trigger, it rebounds to a safe point. Uh, it's got a fairly ergonomic forearm on it. There's a lot there to hold on to, even on the 410. Uh, this one still has its original bead and it's been intact. Uh, it has a plastic trigger guard. Um, I've seen a lot of these things busted over the years. I've seen a lot of these trigger guards broken. And I don't know if there's any way to replace it or not. Uh, this one has a hairline crack over here on the side of it. And most of the 12s that have any age do. Uh, 
ways you keep your stock from cracking. One of them is you have a recoil pad on it. That takes a lot of the shock out of it. The other one is um, you keep the stock tight. And this stock has gotten just a little loose. Overall, it's a pretty good gun. The CBC from uh, Brazil. Now, I don't think they currently produce this design. Uh, the earlier ones like this one were imported by FIE, Firearms Import Export. Okay? Uh, the, uh, the later ones are imported by Brass Tech, which is, you know, whatever. Whatever it is. Well, all right, that's about the size of it for the old CBC 12 gauge single shot shotgun that shoots really good, even though it's kind of cheap. <laughs> well, all right, then. Uh, uh, what is it I normally say right about now? Oh, like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door if you want to. Content for you. All right, then. God bless everyone, and we'll see you soon.